Hi, in this video we're going to use the sum product function to perform conditional calculations. So in our scenario, we've got a number of accounts and we need to first of all count the number of accounts that are over budget. So that would be where the actual figure is greater than the budget figure. Now I'm going to, I'm going to do this calculation first of all uh, without using sum product, only because it will help you understand one, the benefit of using sum product, and two, the different steps that the sum product formula takes to reach its answer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a helper column called over budget. And let's just do some borders on that column. And in this column, I'm very simply just going to ask whether actual is greater than budget. Now, if I copy that down, you can see I get a whole load of true and false results. Now, if I could convert trues to ones and zero, uh, falses to zeros, I could then add up the ones to get the number of over budget accounts. Now, we can do this. Well, there's a number of ways of doing it, actually, but we can use something called a double unary operator, which is two minus signs. And because of the order of calculations, we need to put the logical test in brackets. And that will convert your falses to zeros and your trues to ones. And then what we could do is total up this column and we get the answer seven. There are seven accounts that are over budget. But what we've had to do is we've had to do, I think, 11 calculations here in a helper column to get to the answer. Uh, you may not have space to do that and you may choose to perform a more efficient calculation. And that calculation would uh, use some product. So let's do that up here, some product. Now we only need to use one of the array arguments here. And we're going to use our double unary operator to convert the true and falses to zeros and ones. Uh, what we can do with some product is that it allows you to uh, select arrays or perform cal calculations on arrays rather than on individual cells, which is what we were having to do here. So we can actually say, do values in this, are values in this array, are they larger than corresponding values in this array? Just scroll over, you can see what I've done there. And to close the order of precedence brackets and then the sum product bracket. If I press enter, it gives me the answer seven. Now to help you understand exactly what's going on here, I'm gonna show you a little trick that will help you, uh, allow you to evaluate a portion of a formula. So if we wanted to understand exactly what this calculation was doing, what this logical test was doing in this array format, what we could do is select that portion of the formula and then on your keyboard, press the F9 key. And the F9 key converts, uh, basically evaluates that portion of the formula. We understand that some product will add up the amounts uh, that are um, calculated within these arrays. So there we have it. You can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones. So sub those up and we get the answer seven. And you can also see that the positions of the zeros and ones correspond to the position of the zeros and ones in this column here. So it's actually performed all these separate calculations, all these logical tests with a W unary operator within this single formula, single sum product formula. Now you must undo your uh, evaluation with the F9 key, otherwise it will hard code those zeros and ones into your formula. So you can either control Z to get back to your formula or press escape and that won't hard code those results in. Otherwise you're going to end up those zeros and ones, uh, which wouldn't be very good. The next calculation we're going to perform is calculating the total amount that's over budget. And we're going to do this using helper columns first and then using the sum product function. We're actually going to have two additional helper columns. Uh, the first one's going to be called variance. And that really is um, the difference between uh, budget and actual. Uh, 
and then a total amount over budget. There's our second helper column. And in this column, we would only want the minus figures, the amounts that are over budget. But if you, if we were to multiply these figures by these over budget figures, then you'll only get, uh, well, all the on budget figures would be multiplied by zero. So those would be zeros and you'll only get the minus figures because they're the ones that are multiplied by one. So that's pretty easy. we we'll just say that times that. Copy that down and then we can add up those figures. So we get an answer of 11,619. We've had to use three helper columns to get to that answer. How can we do it in one cell? We can use sum product. Now the existing sum product formula that we have actually does the majority of the work for us. So I'm just gonna paste that in. We're actually going to use the array two argument to calculate the variance. And you may realize that some product multiplies corresponding values within each of the arrays that you specify and then sums up the results. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to use the array two argument to perform the variance calculation. And we can use, can, as you know, perform calculations on arrays rather than on individual cells when we're using some product. So we can just say budget minus actual. So those are the whole, all the figures within the budget column minus all the figures in the actual column. So there's my formula. So what it would do is say D2 minus E2, D3 minus E3, D4 minus E4, etc just need to put uh, a closing bracket there and I get exactly the same answer. I've done the calculation all in one cell. Now to help you understand uh, the calculation that the sum product is performing, I'm going to use the F9 trick to evaluate both of these arrays. Now, if you remember with our helper columns, what we did is we said uh, zero times variance or one times variance. So over budget column times variance column. And that's essentially what we've got here. This is our over budget column equivalent. This is our variance column equivalent. So we'll literally do the same thing. Say zero times one, four, two, one, one times minus one, three, one, one, zero times three, two, six, one minus minus 1,716 and so on and so on. Press escape, so we're going to hard card, hard card, hard code those uh, results in and uh, hopefully that's explained exactly how the sum product works. It's an amazing little uh, function. You can see a real uh, space saver, a very efficient uh, function to use. Uh, prevents the need to have these helper columns. So hopefully that's been really useful. Uh, thanks very much for listening and uh, uh, keep in touch with our YouTube channel.